everyone, this is Jana here for July tutorial here at Old Scraps. So these tutorials are uh, especially good for beginners if you want to know how a page gets done and uh, how a page gets done and how you can uh, use many kinds of different supplies here from Old Scraps. And we always try to mixture um, some uh, supplies that we have. Um, usually what I've what I've been doing here is mix some traditional with some artsy things but I actually got today I think a little bit of grungy and artsy together here with all the supplies that I have and a little with a little touch of art journal so I hope you enjoy so um I have here we're gonna use today the artsy layer template number 239 from Anna Aspinas the Joy Hard Designs Awesome Textures uh, 1, Vicky Stigo Designs uh, 4, it was part of the Minio Family Affair Elements and the Family Affair uh, Word Art. And for the base here, I'm using NBK Design Solids from the Say Hello, which also was from the Minio. So, um, this all the links for this is going to be on the blog post we always do a blog post with all the details uh, please go to the blog post and uh, check the links and also other layouts from uh, our CT that did with the same so you can see the different takes on the same uh, you know the same supplies I don't intend to change this a lot this template um, usually I change a little bit um, I just wanted to show you in this case of this template here how you would mix and use the texture that Anna has here and stains and color with this grungy awesome paper from Joyful Heart. And um, and also the only thing that I'm changing here and is using, uh, you know, the template comes with this frame and as you can see here I use one of the vintage frames from the Vic Stigo, um kit and um, I already put a solid paper here and already started to um, put some uh, color here with the paper and I'm gonna show you how I do the rest um, so the way I did here with this frame is I just grabbed the frame from the kit and I'm gonna do a copy here and take it just to the top on the second frame and you pretty much just um, put that. Another thing that you've noticed I'm using today um, Photoshop CC 2017 instead of Photoshop Elements. I felt that I was doing um, most uh, to know the, um, you know, tutorials on Photoshop Elements, but decided to now started to do one element and one Photoshop because we have many users that do use Photoshop and um, if we have something that you cannot do in Photoshop elements we certainly let you know although I have Photoshop elements um, uh, 15 I really don't know what don't work with previous uh, versions of Photoshop elements so but it's uh, just so we can be fair also with everybody that uses Photoshop but I'm not doing something complicated here they're supposed to be to help beginners get started with the supplies. That if you are an advanced scrapper, I hope this gives you some inspiration and colors or products that you never thought of using together or even designers that you never tried before. So I hope this gets you inspired to get playing with the supplies that we have. Um, okay, so let's get started. So as you can see here, I... Um, change here the frame so I'm gonna go ahead and put the pictures here and be right back okay so I did change a little bit here because I want to choose a picture that was not in the same um, way that the frame here was so I just change it here uh, you know I select uh, the frame uh, you select the frame to the shadow and then you just, you know, uh, 
move them to the side here to the horizontal uh, side I'm gonna tuck this a little bit more here and with this other picture here I think the new frame needs to be a little bit larger here And um, what I want to do actually is to change this picture here to black and white. So I'm going to go to adjustment layer and black and white. I'm going to do clip here, create a clippy mask so it affects just my picture here. Sometimes I play with the contrast, high contrast. Sometimes it depends on the picture. Um, I like it. I like this contrast there and I'm going to do the same with the other picture we click here red make a little bit darker there we go so I wanted to show you here that she has a stain here, there was watercolor stain, so I just clipped the Joy Heart paper and the same thing with this side here. So I'm gonna uh, do another one here to show you. So she has this paint here. Uh, another mask here so I'm gonna colorize that one let's go here to the papers like this purple so there are many ways that you can um, do this and I know Anna has several tutorials uh, showing you how to do this, um, but I just wanted to show you how you can utilize more your papers that you have. And sometimes a paper like this, it can be too much for you, but you can see that using with the templates and with the paints, um, it gets a little bit softer. So it gets a little better for you. So we have the texture there. I don't want to do anything to that right now. So we have another one here. I'm going to use this red one. So you can see it gives a touch of red. And I'm going to give a command control J copy that and oops taking that to this stain here I don't know if you can um, see over here on this part We have a big stain over there and we have another one over here you can see that but first before we move colorizing close to the picture here I wanted to put a picture over here you can put a paper whatever you want I want to show you what I decided to do so we have this mask and I have this picture um, now I'm gonna have to take my frame out of the way because when I was planning this I didn't think about using this picture so we just connect all the frames I'm gonna bring more over here right now later I can put it back 
Um, I'm gonna actually put this in a group and I know on Photoshop Elements 15 you can do this. Uh, merge layers in a group. I'm just gonna create a group and put photo. Because then I don't have to keep selecting it. So if I clip right now the way it is here, you can see it's it's not showing here the edge. There are several ways you can do this. You can use brush and you can brush more to blend better. But I wanted to show you something different. There are uh, many ways to do this. But I didn't want to use another brush because I like it, the edges that she has here on this mask. Because I like this edge, I'm going to select here. I'm going to grab my lasso tool. I'm going to select this edge here. I'm going to give a command control J. I duplicated it. If you see here, you have the regular mask and you have this just this part that I duplicated. Can you see that? So I'm going to arrange this we can wrap give a command control T to transform and you're gonna see that this here it is not gonna matter don't don't freak out here we go I'm going to duplicate again. I'm going to rotate and I'll put it over here. Maybe more like this. Now you can do two things if you are even on Photoshop Elements 15, you can create a group with all these three, or you can merge the layers. Um, I have to unclip this so we can right click merge layers. And now I have uh, my picture there. Um, I want to show a little bit more her face here, so I'm just going to grab a soft brush just going to grab a soft brush on, uh, you know, round soft brush with black. I'm going to reduce the opacity to like 70% my flow 100 let me make sure it doesn't have shape dynamics because sometimes if you used before it's going to save it and I'm just going to remove this texture here which was the edge that we merged okay and I'll show more of my teeth here and my eyes there. So uh, now I can come and bring that picture over here a little bit. I'm going to arrange the other one. I'm going to create a group. And this is how you don't plan, but you end up changing things, and that's fine. That's the beauty of uh, digital scrapbooking. You can use a template as it is, and that's why I like templates, and I always say that when I use templates here. You can use a template once as it is, and then you can start changing the template. And soon, you're going to have many ways to use the template. I really want to use this picture, so um, that 
That's why I'm trying to work with it. Uh, kind of stacked kind of thing. Okay, so now that I have that, I can go ahead here on this thing here on top of my head here. And let's choose a paper. Maybe more blue. And it's nice that all these papers, they go together. Let me close this. I want more of this blue. And you can see that in the same paper, you can get different hues. So I can duplicate this paper now. And go to the other stain here and I get another color here which goes nicely here with the Sun um, you know the bright thing here and this color uh, this color this picture has a little bit of effect uh, I use an app on my iPad I'm gonna post in the blog which app I used um, so as you can see we right now have a lot of color going on soft colors because of the template we have another stain here so I'm going to get this more pink one So basically if you want also you can just fill the layer with color but I like because when you're using this paper you are uh, combining two things the grunginess of this paper with the texture of the watercolor stains from the template so um, I really love 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 that combination and we have kind of a bigger one there let me see if I can use a red one again and we have that red over there and to remove this art strokes This one is kind of white. I'm going to leave as it is. I'm not going to change that. And we have some dots that are kind of very subtle, so I'm not going to change as well. I have a texture here, and I'm going to leave this texture as it is. You can use a blend mode. And we have this paint. Let me put another one, maybe. Still with some boca. There. I like it here, but I didn't like it over here. So um, I'm going to include a mask. Go into my soft brush again. And let's make it bigger. Gonna reduce the opacity. I like that. I'm gonna reduce it here as well. I'm gonna actually to include as well a mask on this paint and um, I'm going 
going to reduce from my face here. here and that one that I didn't colorized it can come more this way there you go okay so now that I get all that sort out with the colors and the um, blending here on the um, template we can start to put some more elements here with this beautiful kit from Vicky Stigl. And she has also some paint. And I love this kind of green textures here that she has. So before I do that, let me close some things here. I'm going to go all the way here. I want to extend this texture there. It's quite big. There. And let's try this one. I never know what's gonna work. I don't I don't do this. I just wanna do together here when I'm you know when I'm doing the tutorial because I think if I do some mistakes or if there is something that I don't like you're gonna see real because this is sometimes what happens in real you know in real scrapping we uh, we mess up and we make other choices and everybody does it and it's not a right science color burn okay so here I put some embellishments um, in the layout I put this um, stamp here that she has and string and some flowers I'm not I don't use usually a lot of flowers or 3d embellishments in my layouts but usually when I do things with my sister I give myself that freedom we're going to click on the um, word art families forever and you have this in Photoshop elements, you can include a uh, bevel. And you can play here, I have inner bevel. Um, I usually like this one here that has a heel, or I like this second one as well. So I'm gonna use that. I'm going to include a drop shadow. And you can move the drop shadow here if you want. Just hold over and you know drag. And then we created our word art from the papers. So you can change papers, and here you can you know move the paper and it's gonna change you know the color. So um, I'm gonna to finish and post on the blog, and I'm what I'm just going to do is create a shadow here for my strips and write my journaling and then the layout is done so i hope you enjoy and i'll see you next month